everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my first time using my microphone and I'm really excited about it, but I'm hoping that it works well. Something I noticed with this camera is the picture is great, the sound quality not so great, it picks up just like every static -y thing in the background. So anyway, today I'm gonna share with you my favorite products or at least just the products I've been using and I'll let you know if it's a favorite or not as I'm going through this video. If you have been a subscriber for a while or if you were and you are again or whatever the case might be, you will know that I kind of just have this mentality with my hair, not with a lot of things in my life, but with my hair, if it's not broken, don't try to fix it. So you'll see a lot of um, repeats. I like to switch it up a little bit, but not too much. So one of the things that I'm currently loving is the TGIN shampoo. This is specifically the rose water sulfate free one. This is super hydrating. It, I like the original one. I actually like the smell better than this one, but something about this lather makes me just want to take my time the other one has a good lather but it's not like this and i know that people are like oh if it has a good lather then it's worse for your hair listen we're not taking things too seriously anymore we don't have time for it if i like something i like it if i don't i don't i'm not we're not doing this anymore so i really love this and it makes my hair feel so soft and I've talked about my hair since I moved to the desert and what my hair has been like since using hard water. And um, I haven't gotten a filtration system quite yet specifically because my hand is not strong enough to take off the shower head that I currently have. For right now, not happening. So I just need to use hydrating products as much as possible. I shampoo my hair twice a week. I used to only shampoo it once a week and I just felt like I would just do a co-wash the second time because um, I have to wet my hair twice a week. So I used to just wash on Sundays, co-wash on Wednesdays, and now I'm like wash on Sunday, wash on Wednesday because I felt like my hair was just coated in like waxy stuff and I really needed what was in my hair for the you know days prior to just come out. And I feel like it's actually made my curls bouncier and like full of life and less weighed down. So. Something I've been dealing with lately is some dry scalp. And this is not great for my hair, but has been nice for my scalp. And I've seen suggestions, and if you have more, put them down below for what you know hair products to use for dry scalp. But for right now, since I have this, I'm just gonna use it. Don't, just don't, head and shoulders. I don't use it more than every two weeks. Like I just use it when I need a serious cleanse and it's been doing all right. Like my hair, my scalp was getting pretty bad. So um, this is just something that I'm currently using right now. It's, I go on and off with this. Like the other one I had was like two years old and I was like, okay, you gotta get, oh, we gotta get a new one. So it's not too bad. I actually condition my whole head before I use this. But again, it's just one of those things where I'm just trying. I'm just trying things. And you guys wanted to know and here it is. It's not something that like I love. Um, it's not something that I'm gonna end up having as like a staple in my routine, but it is something that I'm using every couple of weeks to really just remove everything that has built up on my scalp that isn't removed with like other shampoos. The true definition of if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm still on it. Cause it's like two something from Trader Joe's. And oh, this is the one that's watered down. Yeah, sometimes when we, like we're at the end of it, we water it down and we use it as like shaving cream. This is the Trader Joe's Nourish Spa Conditioner. This is something that has been in my routine for like, what, five, six years? I don't even know how long, long, like really long. And I love it. I love it. I can't see myself using anything else as of right now because it works so well with EcoStyler. And you guys know, like if EcoStyler ever goes out of business, like I'm, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with my hair. Like I'm not joking. So this works really well with EcoStyler and doesn't leave my hair flaky when I use this 
with it. I use this to condition, I use this to shave, and I use it as a leave-in conditioner. So I'll brush it through and I'll just sort of keep wetting my brush and then brushing through the conditioner and then wet my brush. That's to like get a little bit of the product out, add more water in as I'm doing it. And then that way when I do use my Eco Styler gel, my hair is not saturated with conditioner, I just have conditioner in it because if it's too much product then yeah I'm naturally flaking is gonna happen so this is something that has been in my routine forever it is soft it is lightweight it has a good slip it works well with other products it has a neutral smell like I don't it's affordable there's just not a whole lot you could say about this that's bad so the things that I can do with this bottle are so universal. If I can use it for a shampoo, whoops, if I can use it for a conditioner and I can use it to shave, yes please. My hair's, a, I don't even know what I look like because I can't see myself filming myself, but my hair uh, was up in a pretty crazy bun while it was wet. So this side I feel like is a little bit flatter than this side because of how it was sitting in the bun, but that's the side it's the point. You guys know that I was a big fan of mixed chicks deep conditioner it was like the only thing I was gonna buy like it smelled good it was somewhat affordable it had I'm all about a good slip it had really good slip I put it on I sit under my hood a dryer game changer both the targets closest to me don't have it in stock so I either have to order it online or I have to go further away or I have to just find something new and so I still use it like when I come across it I'm gonna buy it but lately I've been using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil hair mask and this one or it's not a, it's not technically a mask it's a leave-in oh you guys This is the epitome of my life lately. This is a leave-in conditioner and I've been using it as a deep conditioner. How, what the Okay, it has a texture of a deep conditioner, not a leave-in. I have been using this as a deep conditioner. I've been putting it in my hair, brushing it through, sitting under my hood a dryer, and it actually, I feel like it's been working as a deep conditioner. So do I like, stop using it because it's a leave-in that's hilarious okay well I don't use this as a leave-in I don't slow down and read things now I it's just not a thing that I do we went to a party that was for somebody else and I brought a gift for that person and it wasn't for it wasn't for them it was their friend so I had to like slip the gift for my I was like, oh my god this like heart is written for you and everything like that's where I'm at we're moving past that that's beyond my control right now. Anyway, I've been using this and I really like this. I can't, I know it's a leave-in. I can't tell you if it works well with other products. I can't tell you if it has um, good styling methods. I can't tell you any of that. I can tell you it makes my hair soft and I can tell you I, I use it as a leave-in. So, and it smells really good. So it leaves my hair smelling good for long periods of time. I don't really know if I would want to use this as a leave-in because of its density and that's why I like it as a deep conditioner and it has that same sort of density that Mixed Chicks deep conditioner has. So I feel like for my hair this might be a little too heavy, which you don't hear me saying that very often. I like heavy products in my hair because I, well, I like a lot of gel in my hair because it defines my hair and then once the cast breaks I'm like, mm, look how bouncy my curls are. But um, and this would be a little too heavy for me as a leave-in conditioner, if just to be straight up. So it smells good though. It has Manuka honey. I don't really know where that comes from, but I'm sure it tells me somewhere on this packaging. Mafrua oil. I don't really know what Mafrua oil is either, but it has a nice little fruit it looks like on the packaging. And then fig extract, which I know what figs are. I actually have two fig trees at my house. So when figs grow in, the birds love it, I love it, I pick them, I eat them. They're so good when they're like ripened in the sun and they're just a little bit warm. Okay, and I use this, my fiance uses this. We have decided to just, it's more affordable to just get the big ass jug so we love Eco Styler Gel. Um, I use it for my edges, I use it for my hair. I 
when they if they ever go out of business I don't think I'm gonna survive I've tried other gels it's just they don't give me the hold that I'm looking for along with the affordability of the product and this is so affordable right now we're just using the crystal one I think that's because usually the crystal one comes in like the biggest jug at the Sally's closest to us and yeah this is 2.36 liters it's 80 fluid ounces so I mean it's a hair product that I use a lot of twice a week so like when I use it I like vigorously put this throughout my hair otherwise my hair is not gonna be this defined you guys know I love to define my hair as much as I can because it makes it more manageable I can put it in a bun I can put it in ponytails I can put it some up some down it lasts longer my hair used to last me about the whole week now it only lasts me a little more than half a week but at half the week I just do my hair again and that's because I mostly just like my hair up and out of my face and I don't want to have to straighten it for that. And the only way that I can really have it be um, compact in a bun or a pony or whatever is when I have it really defined. Otherwise, there's too much frizz and I'm breaking hair bands left and right. So I like this to define my hair. I don't know if I'm ever going to use anything else. Like literally, I've tried, and I've tried, I've tried, I promise I've tried. I just have three more products left. Um, the first one is I've gone back to the Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine, and I have been on and off of this for years. There have been times where I'm like, ooh, it's making my neck and my back break out. Um, I was using too much of it. I do not use a lot of this anymore, and I only use it on the days where I style my hair. So I will take this tiniest amount, I'll distribute it through my hands because it melts, I'll scrunch a little bit of the crunch out, I'll put it up and I'll go to bed because I usually do my hair before I go to bed. So that is when I use this and I feel like it just creates lubrication between my strands and helps my strands not tangle up as much but also not be like so oiled down. So. I absolutely love this it's back it's back in the game another product I love and this is almost out so I've been using some of the other serums that I have I love serums in my hair they just make my hair so bouncy whether my hair is straight or curly I love a good serum I've used serums since I was like in middle school and I have been hooked ever since and I use the Giovanni Too Chic Ultra Moist Super Potion, Anti-Frizz, and Binding Serum Oil for Dry Damaged Hair. This is the Avocado and Olive Oil one. I also really like their conditioner, but it's just a little more pricey than what I'm willing to offer right now for a conditioner when I have, you know, hello, the Trader Joe's one. This is nice and thick, but not thick enough to where it weighs my hair down. It's just, it, it just feels like it is adding nutrients into my hair. It might not be, but guess what? Putting this into my hand and spreading it around my hair is an enjoyable moment for me. And <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm doing something, damn it. So I love this. It does make my hair really soft. I I won't use this every day. I'll try to use it like every other night, mostly just because I forget. This is a keeper. This a bottle like this is probably like eight dollars and it's four fluid ounces, but this has lasted me a really long time. I also use OGX serum and right now I have a Garnier serum that I also really like but this is of all three of those this will always take thick cake it feels the best in my hair it just does curly or straight this is a product that I love for a really long time and now I'm starting to like it a little less um, let me smell it out of the bottle I feel like maybe it's just old it doesn't it smells so good so originally I wanted this Yes, because it's a scalp oil, but also because it smelled so good. And I was looking for some type of hair perfume. And Shea Moisture used to have hair perfumes, and they don't have them anymore. And, God, they were so good. I know that Pacifica has some, but those are more water-based. And I liked the ones that were more oil-based, which the Shea Moisture ones were. And I can't find them anywhere. So I moved on. Moved on to Carol's Daughter. This is the Goddess Strength No Way Down 7 Oil Blend Hair and Scalp Oil. It says for weak breakage prone hair. I don't, I mean, I just. It has castor oil and black cumin seed in it. I don't, honestly, I just cared that it was an oil for the scalp and that it smelled so good. 
The problem I'm finding with this now, and again, I don't know if it's old because it's not that old, it's not even a year old, is it makes my hair like smell like food towards the end. Like when the smell of this oil is old because it's been in my hair for like three days or on my scalp for three days, it smells like food, not like sweet fruits. Like it smells like someone has been having a fish fry in my hair. Like not literally, I know that that sounds like really disgusting, but I get whiffs of like old oil and I'm like, eh, that's not, I'm not, mm, I'm not really into that. So I think for right now, for me, this is best used before I shampoo my hair, like before I shampoo with the head and shoulders and I can just give my scalp a conditioning, nice massage. The problem is I don't really ever do that because I don't really have time for that. This was amazing when I first bought it and now it's sort of just like, I'm, I don't know, I don't really know how to use you anymore. I did also just like squirt a little bit in my hand and put it in my hair before I would go to bed when I wasn't just using the serum because I, I won't use it the same time as the serum. And I'm really trying to look if there's an expiration date, but I'm not seeing one. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just time to get a new bottle. I used quite a bit of it though. So I mean, it, I, I got good usage out of it. Something that I've been doing with my hair lately is I'll style it and I'll stretch it. I'm not giving my hair an opportunity to tangle right now. Part of that is because I don't want to deal with the single strand knots when my hair is straight. I just don't want to feel that because I'll sit there and I will pull them out all day long. Like you think I'm kidding. I won't just like break it where the knot is. I will find that hair all the way up my scalp and I will pluck it out. Not a good habit. Don't recommend it, but I'll do it. So I want to minimize that as much as possible. So I want to make sure my hair is stretched throughout, even when it's curly throughout the week so that I'm not having those single strand knots. Plus that means that when I am shampooing and conditioning my hair, the detangling process is a lot easier because my hair is already stretched. And when my hair gets wet in the shower, it doesn't curl up a lot. It actually gets weighed down by the water. So for me, that works out perfectly. Not everyone's hair does that, but for me personally, that works out really nicely. I will actually do my hair and I will use the Jane Carter solution. You know, do a little bit of this, do a little bit of this, and then I'll actually just like put it in two loose braids. So the braids will be loose up here, but then as I get down towards like the bottom, I'll actually do it a little bit tighter so that the bottom part doesn't fall into this knotting situation all night and then I'll put my scarf on so I don't stretch my hair every single night I usually just do it like the first two nights of washing it and then like the last day is it is what it is and sometimes that means I have like wild looking waves it's like that was a curl and now it's a wave but it's like but guess what I can put my hair in a bun and it fits because I've stretched it all week so that's kind of nice that is all I have for this video. If you guys have any more video suggestions, please put them down below in the comments because this video was suggested and I wanna make sure that I'm understanding what my audience wants to see. I think that's really important for content creators. So thank you so much for watching. I love you, even if you don't love me back and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. <laughs>